Hi, my name is Blessing Johnson. I'm here to teach bookkeeping, and we shall be looking at introduction to bookkeeping and accounting, taking the topic, definition and meaning of bookkeeping and accounting. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to understand the meaning of bookkeeping, the objectives and importance of bookkeeping, the meaning of accounting, the relationship between bookkeeping and accounting, the differences between bookkeeping and accounting, the history of bookkeeping and accounting, the qualities of bookkeepers and accountants, and the various career opportunities for bookkeepers and accountants. Bookkeeping is the daily recording of the financial transactions of a business or of an individual. It is common to go to organized supermarket to buy some stuff. And you will agree with me, when you pick some items and go to make payments, someone records what you have bought. That person that records the items you have bought is called the bookkeeper. A bookkeeper is a person who keeps the bookkeeping record. And like I said, bookkeeping is a daily recording of financial transactions. Financial transactions represent the exchange of money for goods and services between individuals or business units. Importance of bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping is important for the following reasons. It gives a clear understanding of a company's financial health. By this we mean that from the bookkeeping record, a business can tell whether it is financially healthy or weak. It helps in understanding and managing a business cash positions better. From a bookkeeping report or from a financial accounting report, a business can tell whether it is cash trapped or it is buoyant in cash. It can also help the business to plan its future financial obligations. Bookkeeping accounting reports helps the organization in fulfilling its tax obligations. You see, from the bookkeeping and financial reports, a company can see its tax obligations, what it is supposed to pay to the government. Tax obligations are what an individual or a company owes the government. Importance of bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping and accounting makes reporting to investors easier. When a bookkeeping record is prepared and a financial report is prepared, reporting to investors becomes easy. Financial report is prepared from bookkeeping records. Investors are those who have thrown in their funds for the organization and they expect to see reports at the end of a period. And at the end of the period, these reports are prepared from book records kept by bookkeepers. It makes business plans easier. From the records of a bookkeeper and accountant, an organization can be able to plan its future obligations. It can be able to plan its immediate obligations. So bookkeeping and accounting reports are ready-made tools for business planning. It helps businesses to meet their legal requirements. From the reports of an accountant, a company can see its obligations, especially its tax obligations. Obligations a company owes the government by law is to submit its annual report, to file for taxation, and all of these things are made easier from bookkeeping and accounting records. We already looked at what bookkeeping is. Now I want to see what accounting is. You see, the bookkeeper, like we said earlier, keeps the record. But what record does he keep? We said record that shows financial transaction. But after keeping the record, these records need to be summarized, it needs to be analyzed, and it needs to be communicated to some class of persons. These persons need to use this information. That is why I want to look at accounting. Accounting is the process of summarizing, analyzing, and communicating to users the books kept by bookkeepers 
for decision making. An accountant is a person who does the accounting duties. Relationship between bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping is a vital subset of accounting. By that we mean that bookkeeping is under accounting. It is the beginning phase of accounting that handles journals, ledgers, and trial balance. In our further teachings, we shall see in details what journals are, what ledgers are, and what a trial balance is. Accountants have the obligation to prepare reports based on information accumulated by bookkeepers. Difference between bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping involves daily record keeping of financial transactions while accounting continues after bookkeeping. But this will mean that bookkeeping records the day-to-day transactions that occur in a business. Like I mentioned earlier in the supermarket case, each time you go to buy an item in the supermarket, the cashier or the bookkeeper keeps record of the activity that has taken place. So on a daily basis, the bookkeeper keeps record of his transactions. At the end of a period, the bookkeeper prepares his trial balance. Now, accounting continues from where bookkeeping stops because those records kept by the bookkeeper needs to be summarized, analyzed, and communicated to the user. If the bookkeeper keeps his books and keeps the book where they are, the user will not be informed about the happenings of his business if, peradventure, the user is the owner of the business. He will not be informed. The record in itself will be useless. And so it demands that these records be summarized, analyzed further, and communicated to the users or the owners of the business so that it will enable them to make decisions. Bookkeepers work with a system designed by accountants. You see, a bookkeeper does not just come and work with head knowledge. There is usually a procedure and a system that is put in place. It demands setting up policies, setting up procedures of doing things, cash handling, cash disbursement, when it should be disbursed, who is to be disbursed to, and the various account heads all created, you know, for these activities to take place. All of these records, all of this system is put in place by the accountant to enable the bookkeeper function effectively. So, bookkeepers work with a system designed by accountants. Bookkeepers' activities are guided by internal control systems designed by accountants. Internal control systems are systems put in place in an organization to make things work effectively. And the system is usually created by accountants. History of bookkeeping and accounting. The history of bookkeeping and accounting is traceable to 1494, when an Italian monk, Luca Pacioli, wrote a book on the system of accounting used by Italian merchants. The principle of double entry was introduced by him. And the man, Luca Pacioli, is still this day recognized as the father of double entry. In 1605, a Dutch, Simon Stephen, advocated that profit and loss accounts be prepared yearly. Jacques Savry, a Frenchman in 1655, suggested that balance sheets be drawn up at certain stated intervals. A balance sheet is a statement that shows the position of an organization at any given time. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century also contributed to the development of bookkeeping and accounting. That is when businesses began to evolve from manual ways of doing things to mechanized approaches. This period gave back to the use of machines in business activities. And the birth of limited liability companies have also contributed immensely to the development of accounting. Till this day, 
accounting standards evolve as a result of the complexity of businesses in modern society, qualities of bookkeepers and accountants. An accountant is expected to exhibit certain qualities, and these qualities are integrity. By integrity, we mean being fair and honest at all times. An accountant is expected to be fair and honest at all times. Next, we have transparency. Transparency demands that an accountant should be open, not hiding any information, not keeping any information from the reach of the owners in the course of his duties. Another, we have accountability. Accountability demands that an accountant should be able to answer for the responsibility assigned to him. When called to answer for the task given him, an accountant at all times should be able to be responsible for his actions. Truthfulness. I wonder what you would think of any financial report if the reporter is not truthful. Truthfulness demands that an accountant should be sincere at all times. Otherwise, who will rely on the reports provided by the accountant for users? If the accountant is not truthful, it means that his reports will not be reliable. Confidentiality. This demands that the accountant should keep financial information secret unless he is authorized to disclose it or publish it. The accounting information should not be open to everyone. Visitors should not walk into an organization and begin to pry into the information that is contained in the system. Unless the accountant is authorized to disclose the information, disclosing it to everybody will mean breach of the qualities of bookkeepers and accountants. Career opportunities for accountants. You are here because some of us here have the intent of picking a career in accounting. There are various areas or branches of accounting where we can fit into. You can either become a financial analyst or advisor, or become a tax consultant, or better still, function as an auditor, or a cashier in an office. You can even become an analyst, or better still, pick a career in treasury analysis, financial analyst or advisor. A financial analyst is a professional. He does financial analysis. And what does it entail to do financial data analysis? The financial analyst simply gets the financial report of an organization and could tell from the financial report the state of affairs of the organization. He can tell whether in the future the owners of the organization will receive better returns on their investment or not. He can tell from the financial analysis whether the business is doing well or is unhealthy. As a specialist in financial management, he monitors budgetary changes and advises management on the right cause of action. Tax consultants. Like I said earlier, you can as well become a tax consultant. A tax consultant is a specialist in tax matters. Tax is a compulsory levy an individual or business entity is made to pay to the government. You see, business organizations look forward to reducing their costs at all times, even their tax obligations. And to achieve this, they need the expertise of a tax consultant who can pick their, on their financial report and look at legally approved approaches to achieve tax reduction. Tax reduction is not against the law, but tax avoidance is a crime. The tax specialist, who is called a tax consultant, can pick from the financial report and rather than guide the company to avoid tax or evade tax, he will rather lead the company 
to reduce his tax obligations. You can pick a career in that as well. Or better still, you can become an auditor. An auditor is one who independently evaluates the information stated in the financial report and tells the owners whether or not the information shows a true picture of the state of affairs of the organization. The auditor expresses a true and fair view. By true and fair view, we mean that his report should show that the information contained in the financial report given is true and correct. The auditor's word gives confidence to stakeholders of a business. You can better still pick a career in petty cash management. One who manages petty cash is called a cashier. Cashiers are cash officers who maintain daily impress in an organization. Impress refers to funds meant to achieve small expense items in a business. Or you can even become an economic analyst. An economic analyst basically conducts research, prepares reports, and formulates plans to address economic problems. In the public sector, we have them. They look at the economic problems, they research, and they prepare reports for decision making. In summary, we have said that bookkeeping is the daily recording of the financial transactions of a business or an individual. And that accounting is the process of summarizing, analyzing, and communicating to users the books kept by bookkeepers for decision making. Bookkeeping, we also said, is a subset of accounting. And we went further to explain that as a subset, it means that bookkeeping is embedded in accounting function. But that the accounting work goes beyond bookkeeping. We also said that bookkeepers and accountants are people of integrity and transparency. And that they are accountable and truthful. And we looked at some of the career opportunities available to accountants. We did say that you can become a financial analyst or advisor. You can become a tax consultant. You can become an auditor. You can become a cashier. You can become an economic analyst. And you can also become a treasury analyst. Generally speaking, the career opportunities available to bookkeepers and accountants are vast and cannot be overemphasized. Thank you for keeping up with me in this class of bookkeeping and accounting.